I'm heading into the city, crossing the mighty Mississippi River. A river I love, but you all know that, don't you? And of course, there's the uh, Gateway Arch. But I am heading deep into the city now. Got to try to find a place to park, though. That's always the trick. Well, looky here, found a place to park. <laughs> you can see the Bronco at the side of the street here in downtown St. Louis. The view from where I'm at. Always like to go down a couple alleys in these big cities. <laughs> Looks pretty rough, doesn't it? Yeah, this building here I'm gonna go around to the front of it, but it's very old. I don't know if I wanna keep walking in here, but here I go. Seems fine. There's a guy over there in the corner. I'm just gonna steer clear of him. Looks like he's homeless. I'm gonna head back out of here. This is the old courthouse building. Built in the mid 1800s. Looks like a Capitol building, doesn't it? It's got the dome on it, but it's not. It's actually a museum now. St. Louis itself was founded in 1764. It used to be one of America's greatest cities in the late 1800s into uh, the early 1900s. But its uh, population started declining. Uh, well, not until 1950. Let me uh, back up. In 1950, it hit, uh, the population hit a high of 856,000. And um, last census, just over 300,000. So it's lost well over half its population. St. Louis has got a lot of problems with crime, as I said earlier. And uh, murders, especially. It's the murder capital. The metro's still pretty big, 2.8 million, so it's 20th. But St. Louis is surely not the, the uh, city that it used to be. It's got some claims to fame though. This was the first US city to host the Olympics. And that happened in 1904. Interesting. Anyway, the Gateway Arch finished in 1965, 623 feet high. The largest arch in the world. I don't think that surprises anybody. Well, as if I needed a reminder that it's freaking cold out here. Steam escaping from below the streets of St. Louis. A lot of steam. Must be really warm down there. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's freezing cold up here. Man, that's awesome. eagle up top there. St. Louis is the home to Anheuser-Busch. I don't know if that has anything to do with that. But you know they have that American Eagle as one of their symbols in their advertising. That's a beauty though. The Crawford. I'm going to guess it's a hotel. Probably far too expensive for me to afford. Here at the U.S. Bank Plaza. A lot of people get their paychecks on U.S. bank cards. I believe this is their headquarters. You're still not seeing homeless here in downtown. Just saw the one guy dumpster diving in that alley. So it's pretty clear that St. Louis has some sort of system in place to get these people off the street when it's cold because it got down below freezing last night and it's supposed to get in the 20s tonight that's cold giving you a look at some of the um, beautiful old buildings down here if you're a or an architecture buff. 
and you love old old buildings st louis is a good a good place to come visit there's lots of great old stuff here hey, look at that on a one-way street here this caught my eye pretty interesting huh And this is a high-rise apartment building with this interesting looking statue in front. This building across the street, this grand old building, is boarded up. It's empty. I'll give you a look at it. That's just screaming to be refurbished, isn't it? But it is sadly unoccupied. Railway Exchange Building. This was a grand building in its day. Huh. I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that there's some historical significance to it. But it is empty now. I don't know if you can see inside. Yeah, you can see it's just trashed in there. Huh. That's a damn shame. That's, uh, that's, that's really beautiful. All right, I'm uh, still, well, I'm on the edge of downtown. Get you a little view of where I'm at. I'm going to head into some of the neighborhoods surrounding the city. Take a look at uh, those areas, see what it looks like. Well, somebody's dog. <laughs> Just running around loose. This area looks okay. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I want to head this direction, but I don't want to hit this dog. <laughs> that would not be good. These places look okay. I mean, well, let's not kid ourselves. That's not in good shape. But, uh, huh. And the roads are really bad. Yeah, I was from a distance thinking these places look pretty nice, but I'm seeing with, or up close, that uh, they are not. Man, look at that. There's a tractor there, so apparently they're going to uh, fix this. I guess it burned down. Huh. The ever-present family dollar. I see more fa family dollars in the United States than any other store. Just so you guys know that. <laughs> That's one thing I've taken from all my travels. Family Dollar is everywhere. And yeah, driving up a street here. I believe these are people live here. I wonder how old these houses are. They all look exactly alike. Huh. It's crazy. Yeah, this is, uh, well, see for yourself. I'm going to stop, get a close look at that building. It's completely falling apart. I guess people live here. 
I'm not sure. Uh, I probably don't want to be here. So, I am going to, <laughs> I am going to drive out of here. And I'm at an intersection. This guy's just sitting here in the road. I guess he's panhandling. But, uh, it's weird. He's not asking for money. He's just, this other guy over here, they're just, uh, standing in the road. It's kind of bizarre. And I'm stuck at this light. He doesn't seem to be uh, dangerous though. He's just standing there. St. Louis is a crazy place. All right, I am in, uh, or near Ferguson. Now, those of you who follow the news are aware of the events that happened there with the uh, teenager, 18 year old kid, uh, Michael Brown. He went into this Ferguson market and liquor store, uh, had some uh, situations with the clerk, came out and the police were called and, um, well, you know the story. Now there's a lot of conflicting reports about what happened. Uh, apparently he came into the store twice. Uh, earlier in the day, he came in and had a big armful of cigarillos. Lawyers for him tried to say that he uh, um, had a deal with the clerk or with the uh, clerks at this place, and um, they were just making a transaction. But the clerks flatly denied that, saying that he was trying to shoplift the uh, cigarillos and they simply made him return them. Um, it's supposed to be right here, is that it right there? Anyway, we all know what happened next. He went in for a second time, uh, shoved the clerk, stole some of the cigarillos, police were called, and uh, all that stuff happened. Let me see if I'm in the right spot. Uh, Hmm. Then the destination is on your right. It's right here somewhere. Destination is on your right. I believe that's it right there, but it's not called. Uh... Yeah, this is it. The destination is on your left, 9101 West Florissant Avenue. Yeah, that's it. It's not called the. Uh, um... Obviously, it's not called Ferguson Liquor and Market anymore. Or actually, it was Ferguson Market and Liquor, but that's the building where it uh, all started. They've changed the name, I'm sure, because of the, uh, all of the uh, unwelcome fame that comes with the, the building and the uh, business. But yeah, that's it. That's where it happened. Okay, so there's another shot of that, what was once the former Ferguson Market and Liquor I'm going to head to the actual site of the shooting now. That will be my next destination. Canfield Drive. It happened at Canfield Apartments. Which should be uh, right down the street here once I turn right. Siri directing me. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna. Well, heck, it's just right up here, so I'll just keep the camera on. But this is the neighborhood. This is where it happened. Turn left, uh, then turn right onto Copper Creek Road. Okay, she's saying turn left right up here. Uh, is that it? Yeah, this is where it happened. I double checked. Uh, if you look in pictures of when it happened, you can see these buildings. But it happened right, according to Siri, I'm right there on it. 
2943 Canfield Drive. This is it right here. Yeah, 2943 Canville Drive. I don't know if you can see that 2943. Right here in the street, right here, where I'm driving on right now. That's where he was shot and left in the street. And uh, I'm gonna go up here and turn around. Basically started the, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. Right there. And this is kind of the neighborhood around it, just giving you an idea what it looks like. I'm gonna turn around and go back there. But, um, well, there's a spot right there. It looks like, uh, from what I understand, they keep stuff in the street where he died. I believe that's it right there. Somebody has something there. Yeah, this is the very spot where it happened. Yeah, I am sitting right here. Hmm. So anyway, yep, an infamous place in history. The Black Lives Matter uh, movement began here. And uh, we all have opinions on that. And let's not kid ourselves, the press about them has been negative. Lately concerning their leaders, keeping the uh, keeping the money for themselves but um, I guess they can just work whoa got those two cars just look like they were going to uh, you should have saw what I saw in my rearview mirror Wow anyway yeah that's where it happened Gateway Arch National Park so how cool huh there's where the arch goes into the ground. Very solid filling, but of course it would be. Give you a look of what I'm looking at right now. Um, a lot of graffiti, or attempted graffiti, on the uh, side here. Looks like people have tried to scratch their names and stuff in it. Succeeded in some places. I guess that's kind of cool. Makes sense that people would do that. Hmm. David and Randy. Well, there you go. Very modern inscription. Arch entry here. All right. Well, that's going to be interesting to see how that works. I'm going to do that now. All right, I'm inside this lower area. I'm gonna go get my tickets. All right. All right, I got my ticket. I'm ready to go up. All right, I'm through security. It's a quiet day today here, which is okay with me. Yep, there we go. Camera doesn't want to focus, does it? Anyway, this is the way to get on the, I guess it's an elevator gonna be interesting to see all right my tickets been checked I'm heading to the tram looks like I've got a line all right we're getting ready to get on the tram our tour guide is getting ready to load us okay we're below obviously below the arch all right we're going downstairs now get on the tram I am following the uh, tour guide. Stairs to number seven. That's my car, I guess. All right. Explain it to us. That's going to happen. This north tram you'll be using today was open to the public in 1967. And then the south tram on the opposite side. All right. So the door's open. That's what I'm going to get into right now. That's where this was. I'm in this little capsule. All right, everyone. Please make very sure small. you are clear the tram car door. Stores will be closing once again. The doors are closing. Thank you all for visiting. Enjoy your ride up and your time at the top. So because of the way the, uh, well, because there's only 25 at a time, I was a 25th person. So I got to be in a car all by myself. How exciting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah see I guess you can see that 
Yeah, we are heading up now. Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy. You can feel the, the car, it's kind of just on some wheels that adjust as it goes up. You can feel it as it adjusts as we go up. Wow, look at that. Work areas, I guess. You can see the uh, machinery. How cool, huh? Woo! slowing down for sure. Well, I've got just this and <laughs> here. I guess they have to wait to get me off. Oh, there we go. Doors open. Wow. All right, we are off the tram now, going up the stairs to the last part. The last little section to get to the very, very top. All right, here we are, almost to the top. All right, here it is, the very, very top of the arch. And there's, well, there's St. Louis. How cool, huh? And look, you can see the baseball park. Let St. Louis Cardinals play. Go over here to the other side. And there's the Mississippi. Wow. All right. Cool, huh? This is the very tip of the Gateway Arch. You come up on two trams from each side. We're on this side. Get a good view of what it looks like. Of course, a bunch of us here checking out the sights. All right, our time is done. We're going down now. So I've got to go to my car, which is number seven. All right, my door's open, the car is empty. I'm getting back in for the ride down. Back down to the ground. As I go down though, all I gotta say is this is a feat of engineering, it really is. As I'm going down the leg, the north leg of the Gateway Arch. It's amazing. Something like this is built. American ingenuity at its finest. Seriously. This was built in the 60s. It's incredible. Almost to the bottom. Let's see if I can see the bottom down there. Whoop. Oh, there it is adjusting. Whoa. <laughs> Look, there's that workroom again. And then stairs. Door's about to open. Here are people getting ready for the next trip up. see people entering for their ride up and uh, I'm assuming we're heading out towards one of the legs well and there it is we're coming out the way we came in underneath the arch right in the middle all right one more look here underneath directly underneath the arch a little restaurant even over here and then there's a museum this way if you want to go to the museum I'm not. I'm going to exit. So I'll be coming out right by one of the uh, legs of the arch. And, yep, there it is. <laughs> wow, it's hard to believe it just rode up all the way in that. That's crazy. That was totally awesome. One of the most awesome things we've done on this trip. I gotta say, that was a 
incredible amazing the wife's gonna be sorry she missed that all right well I am uh, going to head back to the hotel start getting ready for our next destination